Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. How are we all doing today on uh, the happiest of Father's Day, I guess? Well, at least in the UK, that is. Hopefully you've all had a good day. I've uh, been back from work for like five minutes. Bit of a rush to get ready, but I want to play some more Walking Dead. I want to see what happens. <clears throat> so last time, well, it's going to give us a recap anyway, isn't it? So let's not do a and last time. Let's just play. And then we... In the sewers, apparently. Or going to be. Oh, I look forward to playing this. I quite enjoy these story games nowadays. They're quite fun. Come on, loading screen. Don't hold me back too long. Previously, Here we go. The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Just get in. We'll figure out. I was trying to protect all of us. Yeah, a bit Holy of a grim shit. episode last time, wasn't it? RV. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. If y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. Yeah, she is. What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put him into it, man. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay. But we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. Okay, we'll look for them. I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Yeah, I should have pushed him at this bit. <clears throat> ah! Shit! Landed Can't like a pro. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Douchebag. But I doubt we're going to be happy when we find out. Hmm. Good evening, Night Raven. <clears throat> oh yeah, you've got the new thing by your name, haven't you? Cheer 5K. Go team. This game is based off real life events. I'm sure we'll get our own zombie apocalypse one day with how things are looking nowadays. <clears throat> And then all the nerds like me would be ready. I'm sure everybody's got their own zombie plan, right? I'm going to barricade myself in my shop, which is a terrible idea because it's got glass windows at the front, but it's it's fine. I'm going to disassemble the cages, strap them across the front so they can break the glass, but they can't get in still. And I've got food for goddamn ages. <clears throat> I just need to get some sort of weaponry. Hello there, a Siroc. See, not like these guys who just, like, materialise guns from nowhere. That dude's limp may be a problem. Don't you run off, Clementine. I know what you're going to do. And you're definitely not Can't getting you your... Nope. You're lying to me. Just for a little while, we're getting. I'm gonna be a douche, but this is for our own good. Maybe I can. I already told you no. Don't ask me again, okay? What's the harm in letting her have it? Shut it up. Doesn't even work. You take care of yours. Let me take care of mine. Good man. Sorry, I spoke. Will be. How's O'Neill? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. He's right He's there. Just fine. ask him. You need to rest. He needs to rest. You need to rest. Everyone needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll Nelly be boats there? <clears throat> sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's He looks doing. grim. I mean, I, I can't fault him. What the hell? <clears throat> Suspicious. Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Yeah, that's got a point. Although, why did you have to make Kenny look like a fool like that? Someone's up there! A ninja! Are you sure? I don't see anything. Hey! Hey, you up there! Damn it, Lee. Keep quiet. Yeah, that was stupid, actually. 
were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Shut your face. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? That's probably a little bit aggressive. <clears throat> now would be a good time to ask Clementine, you know, if they know who it is. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. What, the bell? Ask not for whom the bell tolls. Oh. What are you yammering on about? Yeah, it's probably going to draw a horde in. <clears throat> yeah. Get a move on. I mean, them on the walkie-talkie did warn us. Does it make a difference? Everybody, run! Including the dude with a limp. <clears throat> Save him. I wasn't ready for that. I need to. Don't you think? <clears throat> no. no. Man, help her. Throw her over the wall. Ben, for fuck's sake, man. What the? What? God damn it! One minute. Needed no! ultimate concentration there. Yes, hobo. <clears throat> Get her the hell out of here. I'll catch up with you. I don't like that. We, we're not allowed to lose him. He's cool. And then Move he's getting asses. a frigging slap. Right That's not all. Don't even start, man. Oh, give me a fucking break. Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Um. Oh, his name's Chuck. Rubble. We gotta help him. Can he shoot one side? No time. We shoot the we other. Go. Now. Uh, no. Just go. Give me the choice. I want to save Chuck. George's first city achievement unlocked. Go team. I'll get the door. Honestly, okay? all of these lot should be dead. Yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Damn right he is, sir. He's Can an absolute douchebag. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Quit it. The pair of you could bring <clears> them <throat> down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. Stop arguing, everybody, for freak's sake. Clementine, let's have a chat. Do you think the dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? We're good. Try not to worry. Even if they saw us, they can't get in here. We did. Why can't they? Because they're zombies. They're smarter than they are. They're just like dumb animals. They can't open doors. Don't jinx to have yourself. A pet hamster. One night, he figured out how to open the door to his cage. Foreshadowing. When he woke up, he'd eaten half a box of cookies. I don't think Rebel. this is quite the same, Clem. Yeah, right. This time, we're the cookies. No! Oh. Stay away from the cake. <laughs> I'm going to see about getting us inside the house. <clears throat> right. Next to talk to. Not you. Ben. Ben, 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 Ben. I don't care about that. Ben. Take the shovel. Take the shovel up. The shovel is never not useful. There's easier ways to say that. Whip! He's there. Come here, you mother. Ben. <clears throat> about what happened back there on the street. Don't you forgive him. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. 
You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. That's what I wanted, Lee. I hear you. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks Can't pretty problem. solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Kacha and Duck, at least not with me. Yeah, well, yep. I figured that's probably for the best. I'm going to go check things out. All right. Let's go and see about that um, mound over here now that we've got a shovel. I can only look at the Mound of Dirt. Looks like something was buried here. Hmm. Zombie? No, can't be. They'd already be up. I want to stay <clears> up. God knows what until we find our way into that house first. Yeah, I think something's going to happen there. Just a dog house. Zombie dog? Anybody? Already spoke to Clementine. Let's talk to these pair. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. Chris is right. I do somewhat Looks agree with her. You're as bad as she is. I'm telling you, it's just a... Ah, oh, Jesus! Quit trying to be a tough guy on me. Hell, I'd be crying like a baby my leg looked like that. <laughs> Please, we have to get Lee's honest. Don't worry. <clears throat> I'm on it. Guess we've just got Kenny to talk to them. Although, I could try getting into the window myself. I think I've got to try getting into the window myself, haven't I? How's it coming? Found a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if like the there window? is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Yeah. <clears throat> nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding we We've got to ask how he's doing. I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is going to help us get inside this house. Maybe you should have a look around, see what you can find. Okay, I thought it was going to let me get a bit closer. No way I'm going to be able to bust through that. No way I'm going to be able to bust through that. Oh, I didn't even see the pet door, Sir Oak. <clears throat> Good thinking, Batman. Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked, too. Oh. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens hmm. when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so where's the, where's dog? the dog? I wonder. That's sick. I don't want to dig up somebody's dog. I'd kill somebody if they dug up Luna. Not that Luna's buried. Luna's fine. Hey. <clears throat> She's currently at her uh, babysitter's. Used to be, you know what I mean? I'm at work early yeah, in the morning. I hear you. Don't come over here, Clementine. We're digging. Um. What's buried down there? Somebody's beloved animal. Yes, yeah, that way. Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Chris. Did. Thank you. Finally, they've been. Just do what I say, okay? She's seen everything else that's been bad. Oh god, the smell. Well, it's been decomposing animal, you fool. Please don't bite my hand off. I've not seen zombie dogs in the Walking Dead series. Can't get it off. Got to unbuckle it. Okay, that is not cool. <laughs> Are you okay? That is grim. I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you yep. sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? No, well, they're both as bad as each other. Please rebury the dog. I don't need that anymore. <laughs> I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. Rebury it, you freaking... I'm not looking at the grave again. Sorry, Sir Oak. I didn't mean to put you off your pizza. 
<laughs> goes nothing. Yes! God damn! And she's just gonna anything in there? yeet in. No. <clears throat> Looks like it's been empty a while. She's the only one that can fit, Sam. So. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can. Yep. Now, are you okay? Clem, are you okay? Now's not the time to tell Say her off. Something. Just gonna unlock the door, isn't she? Legend. Now we tell her off. Don't ever do that again. I was only trying to help. I know. That's not the point. That was dangerous and stupid. You don't know what might be in there. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. You said you were fine. Shut up, Mountain. You're either fine or you're not. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. <clears throat> a little harsh on her, don't you think? She's going to get herself in trouble about a little harsh. It's all well and good until she's bitten by something. I say something. Zombie. Zombie's the only acceptable answer. It's not. She's not allowed to get bitten by a zombie. I don't know what I'm on about. It's been a long day, all right? Meet me loud. Sorry, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. We need to find some meds or something for him, some antibiotics and so, some uh, clean bandages. Tell, about the radio? tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of I'm us? I'm not lying to them. I was going to tell you, <clears throat> Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Hmm. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street. It was the ninja on the roof. Else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a <clears> lick <throat> of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? It's got a point. How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. Mm. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us, following us, and they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? Let's rest up. No, we find Chuck. Sure okay. <clears throat> Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not going to wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. He's proper adamant on getting to these boats, isn't he? Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Yes, boss. Will do. I guess you don't want my help, huh? Hey, I'm sorry if I went off on you, little. You know it's only because I want you to be safe. Look, I gotta check that. That out. was the answer I wanted him to, to give. Okay. Okay. See, she's a little bit happier now, and then she walks off with a sad face. I mean, that's the door that we just came in. You've got to check if there's any supplies in here. Working water? Oh. Nothing. Water's off. Right up. Okay, microwave? No power. No cupboards up there. That drawing's currently inaccurate. Sorry? 
I mean, power's off anyway, so nothing in there would be good by this point. Why, why does it want me to pick up the dog food? Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. Hey, never know. Some dog food I've heard is uh, quite nice. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. Suit yourself. Not Must being funny. <clears throat> the gravy bones I get for Luna smell quite nice. Not that I've ever tried them. I bought the whiskey right on my street. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. Yeah, I am right. How's it coming? Pick that up. We can disinfect his leg with it. <clears throat> Probably not the best idea right now. I didn't mean to drink, frosty. you fool. Speaking of Looks whiskey. expensive and heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. <clears throat> I didn't realize he was looking at the desk. You can't go that way. Oh, they're in here. Hey, guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet. But so far, so good. I've checked the kitchen. How's that couch treating you, Omi? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. I feel you. What do you guys think about this plan at Kinney's? The guy's losing it. Look, Lee, I know he's your friend and all, but you need to be careful. That man is on the edge, and I don't know if I want to be around when he goes over it. We're not leaving Kenny. 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 It's just been through a lot, that's all. I hope you're right. For all our sakes. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'm Looking good at the minute. But right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to Don't turn around. Don't say that. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. You've just Sit changed tight. yourself. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. Okay. Mm I'm not talking to Clementine, she'll be fine. I don't mean that in a horrible way either, but open door. <clears throat> okay. All clear in here. Family photos? That's not a family that photo. My style. Um, reaching clear. I need to be ready. Something's going to be behind one of these doors. Toilet. Nothing hiding in here. Well, if you wanted water badly enough, I'm fairly sure there'd be some in there. One more. <clears throat> to you know what? Let's talk to Clementine. Holding up, okay. I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to I'm make sure? I'm getting to it. Why does everybody no, keep I'll asking? Take care of it. I'm just making sure you lot are all right. Um, <clears throat> the only family photos I have are of Luna. <laughs> I don't have anybody with like what was in that photo. Right, ready. Jesus! What? What happened? A mop tried to kill me. It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, so you need to disinfect yeah. the wound. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Whiskey. Uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clementine. Okay. It's okay. Be nice. You're not in any trouble. We just need to know. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. Think. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? Hmm. I told what have you him told I was him? trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? 
Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Uh... Kenny? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? You've got to check the entire house. Down. Stay here. I'd, like, crawl up there backwards with my gun out. You best be quick at drawing that gun, Lee. Although, I think he's going to find something, and it's um, kind of got to him. Kenny? What was that? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. That can't be. That's not Doug. Oh, it's obviously not. We kind of... Shot Doug. It does look very much like him, though. Kind of looks like Duck, don't he? Yeah. He's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? I bet they told him to get up here and stay safe. He's starved to death. Starved to death. All right then. Subtitles said that. I don't know if I can do it, Lee. Not, not again. I can't ask you to go through this again. Let me take care of it. Are you sure? I, I kind of regret making him doing it last time. But it was his kid. Poor kid. Must have tried <clears throat> to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine. Mm. I found her when I did. Probably best you didn't watch this. I'm sorry. We're getting straight into the grim again today, then, it seems. <clears throat> you know, with the dog and then Kenny's we doppelganger. I'll take care of it. But, well, did they have a spade last time? Don't. Mm. He's really not going to be doing very well mentally. Surely not. Please don't tell me we're about to put this child in the dog's grave. He needs his own grave. We're putting him in the dog grave, aren't we? That's just wrong. <sighs> At least he's buried with Walter, his pet dog. Come on, Lee. Ooh. Why would we look at the kid again? Should I have looked at the kid again? Did I miss something there? I do hope not. Oh, he's just giving us the um, emotional damage. Come on, get on with it, Lee. Just bury him. I'd have still preferred it in another separate grave, but... Why is she always watching when I do stuff like this? Can somebody keep an eye on the girl, please? No, you're too late. Well... And now you go back in. 
God damn it. We're not going to keep looking at the child. Come on, Lee. Crack on. <laughs> 